Hello everybody, you got the Hobby Drifter here again. It is Sunday, March 7th, 2021 here in beautiful Tokyo, Japan, which means we are only hours away from the release of the final Evangelion movie, Evangelion 3.0 plus 1.0, Thrice Upon a Time. And I am hyped, I am psyched, and as I've been doing all week, I'm going through my Ava collection, looking at some of the uh, more interesting bits from that collection, which brings us to this. Uh, the box reads, Evangelion CR Evangelion Hajimari no Hoon, which roughly translates to uh, Evangelion beginning of the supplementary or complementary sound. Uh, this is something I found at a book off a couple of years ago when they had a big uh, display of anime stuff that had been uh, given away as either arcade or pachinko prizes. And this is one of those those things. Uh, this is from um, an Evangelion pachinko campaign. Uh, as anyone who's uh, sitting through this video knows, uh, Ava and pachinko go together like chocolate and peanut butter. Um, they have <laughs> very long history together. Uh, Ava uh, pachinko machines have been uh, widely popular for decades, and I'm sure that that's uh, not going anywhere anytime soon. So what uh, what this is in this this beautiful box here, let me uh, get that open. Inside the box we have foam. Styrofoam. This is this is very, 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 very nicely packed. Um, so as you can see, it's Evangelion foam. Uh, the black. No, I'm I'm screwing with you. Uh, behind the the foam here is, ta-da, this. What is this? Well, it is a beautifully framed set of pins, of uh, metallic and enamel pins. And the reason that I, I bought this, other than the fact that I, I, do, I, I do collect lapel pins, is just how perfectly complete this, this set is. Uh, one of my, my, my few complaints about Ava in general is uh, that whenever they, they release a, a set of, of figures or statues or toys or model kits, um, there's always, like, three of the Avas or, like, you know, two of the pilots or four of the pilots, but uh, they're in, like, like, one of them will be in street clothes and one of them will be in, in the, the suits. Like, there's, it's very rare that there's just, like, one uniform set, which is what makes this so very appealing to me. You have the five pilots. You've got Rei, Shinji, Asuka, Kaoru, and Madi all in their um, you know, plug suits that look very similar to you know the ones in, in, in the series, not just you know the updated movie versions, except for you know, uh, Kaoru, of course. Uh, but yeah, all, all five pilots in the, the similar outfits. Nice giant nerve logo, uh, the Evangelion uh, Pachinko logo, which, you know, whatever. Uh, the pin badge with, you know, all the the main characters on it. And then the Avas. Zero. One. Two. The silver Pachinko one. And the one from the uh, second rebuild movie. So it's just like a, a perfect set. It's... It's all done. It's it's one and done. <laughs> it's it 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 makes my my OCD brain so very happy <laughs> to have these uh options of all the characters, all of the the Avas, you know, at least you know the, the movie Avas uh together. The logo, Nerve logo. It's just it's it's nice. <laughs> There's there's no, there's no, re like, you can, you can own this, and there you go, there's, there's your Ava uh, badges. 
Uh, I, I usually call these lapel pins, but um, you need some pretty big lapels for these. I mean, like this Ava thing is about three inches wide. Um, but I mean, if, if, you're, if you're familiar with like uh, the, the stereotypical uh, classic Yakuza look, <laughs> maybe it's, it's for those kind of lapels. Uh, anywho, uh, I think I paid 2,000 yen for, for this. Uh, definitely no more than that. I, it might have been, it might have been less, but I definitely didn't pay more than, than 2,000 yen for this. And if we get it out of here safely, um, I mean, I had intended to just put these, these up on my, my pin board, um, and cycle through them, like when I, when I wear vests or suits or whatever, you know, stick these on, on the lapel, but they are quite large. But I mean, it's, it's nice. It's, uh, it's a nice quality, uh, frame. Uh, it w would be nice if there was something to hang it from. Um, but I mean, this is, this is really cool. I don't know, uh, how many balls or however the hell it works that you had to collect in order to, to take this thing home, um, from the, uh, uh, Pachinko place. I'm, I'm assuming it must have been f a fairly large number. Um, if you don't know, um, gambling is for the most part illegal, uh, in, in, in Japan, at least, you know, that kind of gambling. Uh, so it's basically you, you win the balls that you get out of the machine and then, you know, you, you can trade in like the, the weight of, you know, like the, it's the weight of the balls that matter and you can trade them in for, uh, for prizes. And these, these prizes include, you know, things like this, or, uh, one of the, the more popular items is, uh, uh, tobacco products. So you can, you know, you play your, play your, uh, pachingo game, win a bunch of balls, trade them, trade them for some smokes. Um, because, you know, paying out a, a cat cash winnings would be illegal. Except there is always, and I do mean always, a little window next to the, the pachinko place in a, in a separate building. Just a, just a building that will pay you money for the balls. And since it's not technically uh, affiliated with the, the pachinko place itself, it is okay. Um, it is an obvious, obvious uh, loophole that the, the government did, does not seem in any way eager to, to close. Uh, I have, I have heard that, uh, some, uh, someone tried to, to do something similar in like California, like 20 or 30 years ago. And they, the local authorities waited for, for this, this company to, to get the entire operation up and running and then shut it down like five minutes later. Um, I don't know if that's true or not, but it's, it's an anecdote that I've heard and I, I gotta hope it's true. So yeah. Um, if you are in the market for one of these things, they do occasionally pop up on eBay for what I would consider reasonable prices. I mean, I, I don't know outside of Japan, but I mean, I'm used to paying, you know, between 300 and 500 yen each for a, a pin. I mean, pins this size, like, like the Nerve logo would probably run me, you know, 500 to a thousand yen. So, I mean, you know, uh, if, if this thing were, you know, 50 bucks or a hundred, I mean, it, it's, you know, wouldn't be completely out of, out of the realm of, of, of sanity to buy something like this. But yeah, they, they do pop up on online occasionally. And I'm sure that uh, if you were so inclined, you could find people selling them on, uh, on Amazon Japan or Medicati or, or what have you. Um, so yeah, that's going to be all from me for today. Thank you very much for, for joining me. The, uh, the four viewers who, uh, watch my videos, uh, click that thumbs up button and leave comments. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you have any, uh, questions about this or any other Ava merch, please let me know down in the comments and I will do my level best to answer them. Uh, for now I have been the hobby drifter. Thank you very much. Take care and happy hobbying.